Hello everyone. Got another update ready to roll out for you in the morning. So I'm going to put this little video out for you tonight so that you can kind of get familiar with it and ready for it when it comes out. Now tomorrow morning before you go to upload your program or up update the, the file, I need you to go in and clear your history, your cookies, your browser. Make sure that you've got the latest version of Chrome active on your phone. That way when you go into the program to do the update there will be no issues or uh, or snags to hold you down from from fully updating. We've made a few changes in the way the updates happen and so instead of it taking so long all at once um, we've broken it down to where when you open up one of the modules like QuickScan or Vitals or Cephi it will immediately go up and check to make sure you've got the latest version. If you don't, it will download that changes. If there's been no updates to that particular uh, part of the program, you will write into it. So I'll just make it a little simpler for you as we as the program continues to evolve and get and get larger. Uh, quite a few things on this update, so I want to get started into those. The first thing I want to do though is jump right into the Cephi. And go over those changes with you first. So you click on your Cephi. When you open it up, um, it looks the same. But over the last few weeks, we've had people uh, writing in questions uh, about how long should I imprint this and how how long should I broadcast for. And those are legitimate questions. And this is a very robust system, and there's lots of uh, of uh, moving parts, so to speak, in each one of these modules. Let me show you what we've done to quantum frequency first. So if you click on quantum frequency, you'll notice you now have a imprint window, just like you do on the other modules. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is down at the bottom of the screen. Down at your bottom, you now have three options. You have an imprint, and each one of these modules in the Cephi uh, if you go back and click the back button, it'll take you back to your Cephi menu. Uh, each one of these has their windows, um, and they have the imprint. You'll notice that. But each one of these programs are different in the imprint time. Quantum reach is about 20 seconds. Quantum frequency is about 20 seconds. Flowers, on the other hand, is a minute. To imprint a flower remedy into a sugar pills or a liquid tincture is a minute. Homeopathics uh, are about uh, uh, 20 seconds as well. So they're different, but you don't have to think about it. You have to guess about it. When you click uh, on the um, imprint, it will know the appropriate time for this module. So that should take a lot of the guesswork out for you and make it a whole lot simpler. You also have a two-minute frequency and a continuous frequency. What are those for? If you're imprinting an object, you want to do the imprint. It only needs that, uh, whatever that time is, 20 to, seconds to a minute. But if you're going to send a frequency, you're going to broadcast it to someone else or somewhere else, uh, you want to do at least two minutes. And um, if it's you're sending it to an individual and there's a lot going on in their life, a continuous would maybe be more appropriate. But the most it really needs is 20 minutes. And, and if you just kind of stick with that, you'll. how many times you have to be told to go do something? Take out the garbage, clean your room, make your bed. Once or two, you know, one or two times is all we really need. We don't need to hear it over and over and over. The reason it's longer on broadcasting is you want to make sure that they're fully tuned in and, and resonating with you at the same time. So you run it a little bit longer. Also, Cephi was never meant to be listened to. Now, I know some of you listen. Um, but it's not necessary. Cephi is meant to broadcast or to imprint. Now, if you're imprinting, you do want to uh, have the sound audible. It doesn't have to be really loud, but you want that, that vibration. If uh, you're broadcasting, it's not necessary. Just turn the volume down. Now, the other time you might want to use a continuous. So maybe you're using it at nighttime when you're sleeping to help you sleep, or you've got a nagging back pain or, or knee pain or, or, or something and you want to set one of those frequencies up for that, hit it for continuous, but turn your volume down. That way it doesn't disturb you, it doesn't disturb anybody else. So anyway, that's what we wanted you to see here. Cephi has been made a whole lot simpler. No more guesswork on how long you need to do something for, and you have a back button. And the um, uh, 
Quantum Frequencies now has your imprint window built in for you. Each one of these windows, by the way, these aren't just pretty graphics. Um, we'll go back to another one. Um, these, as they come up, they're sacred geometry symbols that have been animated. And there's, there's, uh, there's a whole energy behind a sacred geometry symbol. And so that's what we're using. And they amplify what's coming through. So that's what your fractal amplifier is. A fractal is a small part of a larger picture, uh, kind of like a hologram. You can take a very, very small part of that picture and enlarge it, and it's the same big picture. That's a fractal. And uh, they carry their own uh, energetic uh, energy. All right, so this is the what's been done to uh, the Cephi. I hope you like that. Now, we've talked about um, when are you going to be able to stack again, and we've told you... Uh, there will be a playlist. Well, that's coming, and it may be here a little sooner than we had told you. We may see it within the next couple of weeks. And there's more things coming with that as well, but it is in the process. And that way, when you're stacking frequencies, they're done in a way that is optimal for, for that purpose. Okay? So that's Cephi. So let's now go to your, uh, we'll go back to the main screen. Click on your profile at the top. When you click on your profile at the top, we've added spaces and objects. Now, this came up a few weeks ago where people were wanting to know if they could send energies and frequencies to a home or to an object. And, and that, that's a really, that was a really good uh, request, and we've put that in now. So if you, collect, if you click on spaces and objects, it brings up another profile uh, setup. Click on the little arrow, the plus sign, and here's, let's say that you want to send energy and frequencies to your home or to one of your client's homes or your ch uh, children's homes. What you would do is you would type, um, well, first you've got to have a picture of the home or the object, but let's just say it's my house. So you just type in your house, my house or Billy's house or whatever then in the description you want the address and so um, whatever the address is of that uh, of that house you want to put it in that helps the target then you need your picture now I would recommend this that you already have the picture taken they either sent it to you or you went out and took a picture and you would go in and you would upload uh, a picture of a house so you go find your house picture, and I'm going to see if I can find one here real quick, and uh, put that uh, into the house. So here's, we've got the house loaded all, already in, and uh, the house, the, the name of the house, and the address of the house. Once that's in, click Save. And now that adds it into your, your, your library of objects. Now it can be an object. It could be maybe a room in a house or the basement of a house or the attic or whatever. You would take the picture of whatever it is. If it's the whole house, you want a picture of the house. If it's just a room, take a picture of the room and then describe the room and the address. Uh, it, all, it can also be an object. It could be whatever you want it to be, a piece of uh, property that you're wanting to purchase or, or whatever. Once that's in place, now you can go back to your Cephi and uh, open up the target. Make sure you get your target and you click on the house. Once that's you put that in, you, you've targeted the house, um, then you can pick it quantum reach. And let's say we want to send love or health or whatever to that uh, inner peace. We want to send inner peace to that place. Once that's done, your target now is here, not the profile at the top. So whatever's in the Cephi targets where it's going to go, and then you hit uh, uh, on this one, you'd want to do either a two minute or a continuous broadcast. But again, you wouldn't want to run the continuous for hours and hours and hours, okay? So you'd send that energy to there. So now you have the ability to do houses, objects, etc. Okay. All right. Now let's go back to, uh, I want to show you supplements and, and uh, therapies. If you go to supplements and, and uh, therapies, you can now go into your, your library, my library, and you can 
set up all the categories you want and set up all your things. Now here's just an example of something you could do. Maybe you have a whole set of supplements that are just for detoxification or you uh, have a lot of essential oils or you want to have supplements that you only take at night or in the middle of the day or just general supplements, etc. Whatever it is, you would go in and open the, the plus symbol. Uh, get back to my plus symbol. New library supplement. So here's what I'm going to do. So if it's going to be uh, one of the categories I already have, I would hit my drop down and go down to say, so let's just say it's the general. Uh, general category. I would put the supplement in and you would name whatever that supplement is. You'd put the description, um, whatever that is, and then the, the dose and the quality. Now the dose size um, and the unspecified aren't as important. It's important to me when I'm doing my supplements because I want to know is it a two capsule, is it a dropper full, is it whatever. So I will put this information in. That way, when I go in and it pulls up my supplements, it tells me exactly how many of that supplement I need. Okay, so once that's done, then you hit the scan button. You put your little shot glass right down, uh, and you want it to be glass. Don't use plastic. And if it's a liquid, you definitely want to use um, your shot glass. So you, if it's a tablespoon, you put a tablespoon of the liquid into the glass object, you hit scan, you'll notice it only takes five seconds for that scan to be done. As Soon as it's done, you'd click save. And now that's been added to your, uh, to that category in your library. Now this can take you a little bit of time to do this. And you want to put in all, the, I mean, if you've got lots of things, like maybe you're a standard process person or that, Vela Vita or whatever the supplements that you're selling or carrying or using, you'd put all these in. Take the time to do it, to do it correctly. Once that library is built, here's where it gets really exciting. Now you go in to your, um, your client and you want to put in for a new client. So I'm just going to use mine up here for, the, for now. So I, I'm going to put that in. I'm going to hit supplements, supplements and therapies. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to put in some detox, and I want all three of these detoxes in my library. If you look down at the bottom right of the screen, add to current client. See, so you're going to build your library one time. Once you've got that library built, now when you go to set up a supplement protocol for your client or your, your spouse or your child, you just pick the ones you want in, you click it, and now that's in my, um, my my profile or the profile you put it for. So now you don't have to keep rebuilding those. You just pull it up, click the ones you want, and add it to those profiles. This makes adding uh, your supplements and putting protocols uh, for yourself or clients much, much easier. So I hope you like this. I hope you'll take the time to play with it and put all your supplements in and use it. You'll find when you start to use this, and you may have uh, even yourself or clients that will come and say, well, I take all these supplements every morning and every lunch and every dinner, and that's all fine and good. And then when you tell them that, or when you go to scan them, it only pulls up one to three or four, maybe at the most six items. And they're saying, well, I, I normally take 12 or 14. You just need to help them learn and you to trust what comes up because in the scan process, it's measuring the frequency of that supplement against the frequency of yourself or the client at that moment in time. And if those frequencies are cohesive and resonate with each other, it's going to pull them up. If they're not, it doesn't mean the supplement's no good. It just means your body doesn't need it right now. And so you may be, you know, I take uh, vitamin D3 and K2 all the time. Well, now I found that I don't need it seven days a week. I may only need it four days out of the week. And I'm finding that I'm feeling better taking, you know, what the thing, what the scan calls uh, up for me rather than just willy nilly taking all my supplements and putting them down. So this is a powerful program. It takes a little bit of um, faith to get used to trusting what comes up, but 
as you start to see this, you'll start to see, yeah, I need this today and I didn't need, I don't need it tomorrow. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful program. It takes the guesswork and the biases out of um, our supplements. And we may get into a, uh, a, a supplement line that we just love the supplements, and that's great. But you may not need it every single day. And sometimes we just put so much in our systems that we bog down our liver and our pancreas and, and the gallbladder and we slow down our digestion and we can sometimes cause more problems than what the benefits of those are supposed to be. So the supplement library and being able to scan your body for what you need at that moment is wonderful. So anyway, here's your new update. Um, play with it. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time. Have a great week.